Welcome to this week's Foul Friday Tip of the Week, brought to you by HP Outdoors. Here's your hosts, Josh Palm and Dan Harushka. Hey guys, we're back again with another Foul Friday Tip of the Week. This week, we're going to talk about one of the most neglected pieces of equipment that every waterfowler has and rarely thinks to take care of, and that's your calls. So many guys throw the calls in the bag every day, take them out, use them, throw them back in, and they stay there. All off-season, they stay in the cabinet, uh, they don't get much use, they don't get any care, any TLC, anything like that. And then you wonder why, at the moment of truth, when you hit the call and the reed locks up on you, or it makes this crazy squeak. So we're going to talk about some tips that can allow you to overcome these kinds of situations. The first thing, it's real easy. A little hot soapy water will take care of a lot of issues that your call might have from built up debris and things of that nature that get locked in there. I mean, we're rolling around in cornfields and we're hunting swamps and things of that nature. You're going to get a lot of different uh, various parts and pieces that are get stuck up in the calls from that from time to time the other thing is you want to look at your read take the call apart a little bit take a look at that read see if there's any kind of bubbles or anything else on there that might cause you issues down the road that you might need to go ahead and address before the time comes another thing that i see a lot of guys struggle with is you know especially as the season gets late in the year Uh, and you have your call locking up on you, things like that, check the call for blood. I can't tell you how many times I've had dried blood inside my call in some form or fashion. It's kind of gross to think about putting your mouth all over that, but it's a reality. It tends to happen, and nothing is worse inside the call than blood. It's sticky. It can kind of gum everything up, and you know sometimes just some general soap and water won't necessarily take care of that. You might have to dig it out with your fingernail or a toothpick or something like that. So definitely give your call a good scrubbing and a good look over before you take it into the field this year. Dan, what else can guys think about when they're preparing their calls for the season? I think they're the most neglected due to one fact. Guys are scared to mess up their call. So what do you do? You know, when it's sounding good, the first thing that you should probably do is mark the read on the insert. That way, if something gets out of tune, you can easily put it back. Another good point is to buy a cheaper call, maybe the same call if you like that one, in a polycarbonate and practice using it on that one. So you have the same exact call. It's cheaper. You can play with it. You can mess around. But the fact is you should learn how to tune your call for two reasons. One, you have to clean it. It's just, you just have to clean it every once in a while. There's You spit into it. There's all kinds of dirt, like you mentioned. You just need to clean it, learn how to tune your call. Second, if you're in a hunting situation, you might have to field strip it right there. You might have to pull it apart. You have to, might, you know, you have to figure out why it's not working correctly. You might crack a reed. You might have to change a reed in the middle of a hunt. The last thing you want to do is call a hunt because you're afraid to take your call apart. Next one. You know, if you can't figure it out, there's plenty of YouTube videos that shows how to tune a short reed goose call. Also, there's plenty of guys around that know how to tune or know how to call, and you can figure it out. So, you know, mark the read, and you can get it right back to where it should be from the very beginning. If you're talking about a duck call, easiest way is to use, you know, you start with the soapy water, clean it up a little bit. But if you're in a field, you're spitting into that thing, a lot of dirt, use a dollar bill. Use a dollar bill between the read and the insert. And then if you're using a double read duck call, put the dollar bill between the, the two reeds and clean that spit out so it works properly. Those are my tips for you. So hopefully, guys, you're, you're not afraid to take the call apart, give it a good scrubbing, and get it prepared for this season. And you might need to do it a couple times throughout the season. It's not as scary as you think, but make sure you do it. It'll pay off dividends in the late season when things turn cold. Looking for more waterfowl hunting tips and techniques? Visit hpoutdoors.com or subscribe to the HP Outdoors Waterfowl Podcast on iTunes.